Whenever there's slight activity at Yellowstone, it usually always makes the news. This is because underneath Yellowstone National Park lies a monster supervolcano. Over the years, it has grabbed the attention of not only scientists but the public. This is mainly because of if it did erupt, it would have massive effects on the planet. The system is still considered active and contains a reservoir of magma big enough to fill the Grand Canyon several times over. Over the last two years, the supervolcano has been showing scientists that it's still active. Scientists warned that last year, two of the three warning signs that there was going to be an eruption was picked up on. These warning signs include seismic activity increasing and an increase of gas outlet at the surface. Not only this, but researchers working at the park have said that new erupting vents and surface fractures have started opening. They've even had to close a boardwalk in the popular upper basin. However, an eruption has not happened here in over 630,000 years. But researchers have said that an eruption could happen soon. Larry Mastin, a United States Geological Survey hydrologist, recently worked on a paper. It detailed the effects the ash would have on our planet after the supervolcano erupted. He said the following. The objective was to see how the growth of umbrella clouds would affect ash distribution from Yellowstone. We did a few dozen simulations starting with an erupted volume of a few hundred cubic kilometers of magma. So this is if you consider the volume of tephra that expands as it erupts. The volume of the tephra blanket that forms would be a few times greater than that of the magma alone. So this would be comparable to a tephra volume of over 1,000 cubic kilometers. For those unaware, tephra is the rock fragments and particles ejected by a volcanic eruption. He went on to say the following. We used a duration that ranged from three days to one month, and an umbrella cloud height that ranged from 15 to 35 kilometers or 9 to 18 miles. The test showed that most of Northern America would be buried in ash. The fallout would include short-term destruction of Midwest agriculture, and rivers and streams would be clogged by grey mark. Swarms of earthquakes would be triggered all around the world, each having their own effect on the nearby areas. At this point, ash would still be entering our atmosphere. These temperatures would easily reach over 1,000 degrees. This ash would affect people worldwide. If you breathe it in, it would lacerate your lungs and form a glassy cement. Roads would break down and millions of homes would be destroyed. It's safe to say if this supervolcano ever erupted, the effects that it would have on our planet would be massive. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.